Hey y'all, coming to you from Scotty D Travel and Charity Roadshow at Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. And now on stage, we've got a 57 Chevy from Big Oak Garage. And uh, they build really nice cars. This one's been, been done a little while. Uh, I don't know exactly how long, but it's uh, just a really nice car. I hadn't had an opportunity to shoot it, and this was a perfect chance. So anyways, Jason's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll talk to him. Jason, how are you, brother? Oh, uh, doing great, Scotty. How about you? Outstanding. Been a great weekend. Oh, it's a blast, man. It's you a great show. Oh, yeah. definitely. It's, a, it's definitely a do it again next year. Man, thanks so much for coming. Yeah. Down. You all build great cars, and to get this kind of quality of cars at a young show, man, I really appreciate I, it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Tell me a little bit about the hot rod you got here. Well, it's a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air. Um, we took the car in uh, for a good customer out of Tennessee, and uh, we got his ideas, gave him some of our ideas, and decided that uh, this is what we ended up with. It's uh, got a 540 horse LS3. Uh, it's got a 4L70E transmission in it. So he wanted something with horsepower but drivability. Right. So we actually just decided that uh, that's what we needed to go with. Did you do you, you, no kind of body mods are needed on these uh, cars? Or did you do some massaging? Not really. Well, what we did, of course, uh, you have to go shrinking in the doors and the quarters to make sure that everything fits nice and flat down the side of the car. Uh, we actually removed the Bel Air trim on the quarter panel. Uh -huh. and did a paint insert instead. It just makes it look a little bit cleaner in our eyes. All right. We built some custom one-off hood bullets. Uh, oh, yeah, those are cool, man. Yeah, we, we had to come up. We wanted something different. Uh, we had never seen anything done like that before. Those are actually three-piece one-off pieces. Um, the insert is painted to be the, the same as the quarter panel. Yeah, the insert uh, That way there. we just kind of tie Now, it. did you make those in your shop? You're sending them out to have them done? No, we actually built them in the shop. Uh, one of our lead fabricators, Barry Alford, actually... Um, came up with the idea kind of a, a mutual thing between all of us and and then he worked his magic and we had the outer ring and the lower ring chrome plated and then there again had the uh, the insert painted to match the quarter panel that's cool and I like what you did here too oh, thank you and on the light you put this little mesh yeah just a, it's actually look kind of modern touch to it it actually is a, a factory um, you know these cars came with vents that ran through the inner fender right and uh, we actually removed all that but that allows us to get cold air induction into the Motor. Right. So you're saying that that, that mesh was actually stock for that 57? Mesh, it is. It is actually See what stock 57. Line now. Man, I thought that was custom. <laughs> Way to go, Chevy. You had custom stuff back in the day. <laughs> exactly. And now is this sitting on uh, coilovers? It's on uh, airbags? It's actually sitting on a uh, Art Morrison chassis. Right. And it's sitting on Ride Tech coilovers, cool. front and rear. Um, I like them boys at Ride Tech. Oh, those guys man. are unbelievable. And man. now they have a coilover. It's not just airbags anymore. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It is the coilover. That's, we've been running that pretty much exclusively on all of our builds. Boy, that's a bench seat, but that's a different bench seat, man. That's cool, dude. It's actually a, uh, an original 1957 bench seat. Here we go again. Seat. <laughs> well, it's been highly modified, though. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, the, the owner of the car is actually 6'8", and uh, he's got four kids. So, oh, wow. you know, the, the he's one of his rules was it had to have six seat belts in it for he and his wife and his children. Right. And then um, he wanted the bench seat, of course, for the all four kids. Uh, in doing that, because of his height, we actually actually took the seat and um, it's got a plywood back and a plywood bottom on the original frame for right. the 57 seat and then it was just sculptured foam to get the look that you've actually got now. Kind of made a little pocket there to get down made a, a little pocket bit actually gets you sitting a little lower Did and you a little more leg room. Did you set the floor any lower or is it standing? It actually is. It's pretty much sitting right on the floor. Right. Uh, we had to modify the frame actually where the seat moved. Uh, it, there is a little adjustment in it but not much. And then these inserts are painted. They are painted. It's actually painted with a uh, uh, it's a gray metallic, but it's painted with a flat clear. So a lot of people actually have the illusion that it's black, but it's really, yeah, it's, gray. it's a gray. And a lot of people think a lot of these, these flats and satins come that way, but it's really the clear you put on it that it turns is. it to that. You exactly. use flat and clear, flat clear to get that finish. Exactly. That's correct. Yeah. No. Now, I'm not even saying anything. Have you changed anything back here, all this, <laughs> this way it was? Well, of course, we, we, you know, we smoothed the deck lid. We took the tag bracket and, and the emblem off of the, the deck lid itself. Um, the one thing we did make a change on by doing that, we had to put the tag somewhere. So we took the center section out of a Nomad or a wagon. Um, they had to cut it down to make everything fit properly, had it re-chromed. But that's the actual difference on the rear end so that we can mount the tag low. Yeah, one of the most iconic hot rods in the world, and I don't even know what they look like stock to custom. <laughs> I guess I see too many custom ones. Mm -hmm. And what kind of wheels are you running? We're running shot mod fives, uh, 18 eights on the front, 18, or excuse me, 20 by eights, 20 by 
pins on the rear. Um, and the, the Mod 5, the EXL actually stands for the exposed lug. Um, a lot of the shot wheels have a center cap that covers the lugs, right. but on this car we went with a black lug nut there again to kind of tie some of the things of the car together. Right, and it just pulls right in there, it looks nice. Can we? Can you open the door? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, something else we did though, we actually shaved the door handles off of the car. So yeah, well I saw that, but again, I was so embarrassed by the time I got around here, I didn't <laughs> want to say nothing. I didn't want it to be like, no, 57's one year on this model that they didn't put door handles on. Exactly. <laughs> no. Is that neg is that good gauge stuff's not that's not right? No, the the dash is actually a one-off dash. Uh, we put air vents and all, and, and put the controls in it. Um, kind of wanted to resemble this car was initially in a fire, and it was an electric fire under the dash. Uh, so the dash was pretty much gone. Um, and and when we took the car in, we came up with the idea to do this. Uh, the customer picked out the gauges, which are the classic instruments, and. Um, I don't know, it was just kind of one of those things that uh, the ideas kind of started flowing. Kind of all. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. As a lot of things do, you do one thing and you're like, well, that's really cool, but if we did just two to it, then we'd have something, you know, exactly. even cooler. Exactly. Um, and then, of course, we did the diamond uh, interior. Uh, we wanted kind of that sport luxury feel to it. Right. The owner really likes the looks of the Ferraris and stuff like that. So um, the black insert, it actually is a pebble weave leather. It's all hand-sewn leather. Um, and then, of course, everything else in the car is, is leather as well. But uh, we've uh, the owner is real pleased. We're real pleased with the way it turned out. It's it's a great How long driving has it been car. Done? It's actually been on the road for a couple of years now. We finished it two years. Uh, we showed it for a little while, and then uh, the owner himself has had the car for over a year now. Has been driving it, and, and he'll send us pictures of his children in the car and looking at it. And it always makes you feel good as a builder to see that your customers are enjoying. They, no, the, yeah, to watch the them enjoy that. Exactly. Yeah, because exactly. they come in, they're overwhelmed, they love it, this and that, and then usually a lot of times they just go home slash you hear of them. Exactly. But you get, you know, hey, look, we're still having fun two years later, <laughs> and how cool is that? Exactly. <laughs> they, they do change a little bit. The engine cover, of course, uh, is, is came off of a uh, stock Camaro when they first came out with LS3s right. and those. And, and of course, we modified it quite a bit, and we had to extend it because of where the engine sat in the firewall. So uh, if you'll notice on the so back you made of the, the engine cover, cover. yeah, you we made. did make the cover. We modified the original and then right. made the extension piece on the back to match. The cutout you'd made. Yes. Yeah, that looks yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. And so. kind of, I never noticed it, but it kind of looks like a supercharger. So I guess what they were trying to put it, in there. It kind of does, yeah. It gives yeah. it the illusion that there's more. Now, uh, there again, you know, like I said, it's a LS3, 540 horse. So, uh, you know, a supercharger on it would definitely kick it up a notch. Sure. Well, and it's, <laughs> a, you know what I'm saying, it, it, you got the motor. Mm -hmm. At some point, if he gets tired of it driving it the way it is, he could always do that. Exactly. And that's that's actually an easy upgrade. We'd have room under the hood to do I that. I like how you did that intake, too. That comes right in the fender. It does. And, you know, we were talking about the grill and the headlight right. previously. Uh, we've got a K&N air filter behind there that, that brings in the cold air for the motor. Now the big question is going to be is how do you change that filter? Uh, actually you can get to it from underneath inside the inner fender. Just pull um, the tire. Put be it a little on. easier to pull the tire. Yeah. But you, you could do it without but the easiest yeah. thing is to pull the tire. Pull the tire, get it on a rack and you can, that's not too bad. That's no worse than changing oil or anything like no, that. No, it's, yeah. it's, it's nothing major. Sometimes you do some things that are highly customized and it's like once it's in there, it's in there, you know. <laughs> exactly. But this guy drives it so you had to, you had to have it so that you could uh, maintain in the car. It's not just this is not just a show car that just like I said, the guy gets driven and he takes his kids out and exactly. all. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's you know, we, it doesn't matter what we build. Everything that we build, you've got to be able to drive it. It Doesn't matter how nice it is. Tell me if people are interested. Y'all got a website? We do. It's uh, www.bigoakgarage.com. You can go online, check out some of our current builds. You can check out some of our completed projects. This car is actually on the website as well. So uh, look us up. But the best way to follow you is probably on Facebook because you keep that real up to date. We do. We update Facebook a little bit more. It's uh, it's actually a lot easier for us to do that. So right. And people um, want to know where cars your car is going to be and all that do. kind of stuff. We do. We update. We kind of throw out and uh, let you know where we're headed and where we're going. Um, of course, let's make this an annual event here. This right. is an yeah, you had fun. Show. Oh, we've had a blast. Good, man. good. Thanks so much. Hey, no like problem. I tell Will, man, you know, I mean, it shows young, and I think it's got a lot of potential, and it was a great year this year. Had awesome cars. Couldn't shoot all the cars that were here that were nice cars. Right. But it takes it takes, it takes that high-end builder to also to mix into that mix, and that's why when I called you all and said, can you help me out, yeah. you showed 
two cars, three cars, and a truck and brought them down for me, man. Anything for you, man. Dude. It, we, we enjoy it. We've had a blast and look forward to it next time. Thanks year. so much. Folks, there you go. There's one beautiful 57 Chevy from the Scotty D Travel Charity Roadshow. Auctions America Park, Auburn, Indiana. If you didn't make it this year, make sure you make it next year, man. It's just been a great show. Hope you all enjoyed this one. See ya.